Let's take a look at rotational order. It's a kind of a tricky concept. You, the idea is how many times will a shape map onto itself between 0 and 360. So an order of 4 means it maps onto itself 4 times between 0 and 360. So let's look at this uh, star here. We'll kind of rotate it around and see uh, how many times. So we get once there. So let me mark that down. We have once. And let's try it again a second time there. It would map onto itself. And so let's put our 2. And uh, we get a third right in here. Number 3 times. And I'm going to try and speed up a little bit here. And there would be our fourth time. Our fifth time, if it all worked out just right. And you can see what's happening is as it's coming around, there would be its sixth time. And finally, watch what happens. It returns back to its original place, and that happens to be the seventh time. So the order is 7 and then what you do is you take 360 and divide it by 7 and that gets you your uh, your angle. Now in this case it's not a very nice number but usually it is. Uh, 360 divided by 7 is uh, like 51.43 uh, but usually it's a, a nicer number. Uh, 7 doesn't divide into 360 very nice but that's angle and order.